Folks, let's go take a history lesson on my, if you want to call it YouTube career. I came on here in 2006. Came here with the intention of just making random video blogs, because when I first discovered this site, you can upload your own videos. And then, I tried doing that, and then I tried doing game reviews that didn't work out, so I decided to talk about something that I actually have a love for, or that I really like, or I have somewhat of a knowledge for. That was pro wrestling. When I came on here, I was only aware of two promotions, that being the mainstream promotions. Then Josh, who you know better as Truth Slayer, came on here and promoted a promotion called Ring of Honor. So did Jared and Moral Virus, but pretty much it was Josh who got me into Ring of Honor. You can also credit Crazy Mike for that one. And I watched this promotion. This was around 2007, around mid-2007, and they had their first ever pay-per-view called Respect is Earned. I watched this pay-per-view, and there were a couple guys that really caught my interest. Uh, one of them being Claudio Castagnoli, uh, one of them being Matt Seidel, who you may know better as Evan Bourne, Brian Danielson, obviously, Takashi Morishima, and so on and so forth. Um, there was one guy who I didn't get to like until later on, because I was just didn't care for him, but as time went on, he became probably one of my favorite indie wrestlers, and probably the guy that is the reason I'm into indie wrestling. That would be this man right here, Nigel McGuinness. <sighs> he is the sole reason that I started watching indie wrestling. And, or I shouldn't say he's the sole reason. I mean, Brian Danielson has credit to that, and Claudio does too. But those guys, uh, he was, is the reason I love it, because... There's just something about him. He has in what people would like to call an it factor to what makes him so great. I went to his last Ring of Honor show, Glory by Honor 8. If you ever want to see that video, it's on Crazy Mike's channel. Me, him, Gilbert Blaze, and Moral Virus reviewed it. Andy shows up in a bit, but not much. But moving on. I went to his last show, or I bought a ticket called... Uh, Glory by Honor 8, but I didn't know of it at the time, that it was going to be Glory by Honor 8 until later on. I only bought the ticket because I was having such a good time at Manhattan Mayhem 3, I thought, let's go to September 26th. And then I hear there was Ladder War, um, the American World of Steen in, Gener in Generico. That's what made me excited for the show, but what also got me excited, and also like, sad, well, I shouldn't say sad, but the fact that Brian Danielson and Nigel McGuinness were going to have their final match there, together, it was kind of one of those moments where, oh my god, I better go, because this is their final match together in Ring of Honor. So I went, saw the match, it was a great match, and my god, it is just the emotion they put in their promos at the end, if once it comes out on DVD, I recommend the show. Anyhow. So, but that was the final send-off before they went off to WWE, because they had, like, two months in advance, they had signed a contract with WWE, or maybe it was a month in advance. Point being, in advance, they were able to sign with WWE, and this would be the last show. Then, just two days ago, I hear the spoilers. Well, I should say three days ago. Whatever. The fact of the matter is, I hear that Nigel is in TNA. And he's known as Desmond Wolf. At the time, we didn't know of his name. There was, like, so much screw-up. And they are putting him in a program with Kurt Angle. And they're going to make it a main event feud. Or one of those main event feuds. Folks, 
just by reading that, and I may be far ahead of myself, Nigel is going to get the Monty Brown push. Either he's going to get the Monty Brown treatment, or he's going to get the Samoa Joe treatment, which is they're going to tease him that he's going to be the next world champion, they're going to give you a reason to care, and then you're going to be rooting for him to win the title, and then they're going to drag it on to a point where you don't care anymore. And they're going to do either one of two things. Just drop the guy altogether, and just completely fail with the guy, Bonnie Brown, or give him the title at a time where nobody gives a shit anymore. Samoa Joe. So, what is the future for Nigel, really? I mean... Maybe I'm wrong. I hope to God I am wrong. I hope to God I am wrong on that statement that he is going to get the Monty Brown or some over Joe treatment. But the reason I have those kinds of feelings is because this isn't the first time it's happened. We don't even have to use Monty Brown or Joe as examples. Jeff Hardy was the same exact way. They're doing the same exact thing with Matt Morgan at, the, at this moment. And they're doing the same thing with Hernandez. Nigel's going to be no different. And I'm just afraid. I mean, it sucks because no matter what promotion Nigel would have went, whether it had been TNA or WWE, you would have that worry in your head. Depending on where Nigel would have been placed in WWE, he probably would have gotten a push. If it would have been on Raw... No chance in hell. There's, it's just, it just wasn't going to happen. Smack during an ECW, you would at least have that hope. But this video is just basically for me to state, Nigel, I think you made a mistake going to TNA because I'm afraid they're going to do the same thing with you that they did to either Monty Brown or Samoa Joe. But I will say this, Nigel, good luck with your future in TNA. You're going to need it, because quite frankly, I still think you're one of the best out there, and if you're going, I've, I've talked to you on a couple of occasions. You're not only a great wrestler, you're a cool guy to talk to, so I would figure they would treat you right somewhat, and hopefully they will, because to God, you deserve it. You deserve to be a main guy in TNA, and hopefully take this company and give it some freaking... What's the word I'm looking for? Give it some originality. Not the word I'm looking for, but it's the one that comes to mind. Identity. There we go. Give this company some identity. So many botches in this fucking video. But Nigel, hopefully you get the push that I think you deserve. Because you entertained me from Ring of Honor. You are the reason I'm into Ring of Honor. You're the reason I'm into indie wrestling. So, Nigel, all I can say is good luck. And mind you, I ain't going to call you by that name Desmond Wolf Because quite frankly, no, no, that doesn't work with me. To me, you're Nigel McGuinness. And I think to anybody who's a fan of yours, you're Nigel McGuinness. Much like to anybody who was a diehard Matt Seidel fan. He's probably still calling him Matt Seidel instead of Evan Bourne. Hey, whatever.